Footstooling has been introduced to the Smash series in Brawl and is still present in Smash 4. I'm C5 from the Beefy Smash Dudes and in this video we're going to learn everything about footstools and how you can use them. To footstool someone you have to press jump when you are slightly above them. There are two kinds of footstools. The regular one, which puts your opponent into a falling animation, unable to do anything for a short period of time, and the so-called phantom footstool, which doesn't have any effect on your opponent, but still lets you jump off of them. This phantom footstool only happens if your opponent performs an attack or even just charges an attack, or if he shields while you jump off of him. There are some more special cases like hanging on the ledge and the end of a roll where you can only phantom footstool him. For any other cases you will just regular footstool him, which means while standing, crouching, walking, running, jumping, falling or even grabbing. By the way, if your opponent is entangable or invincible, for example when he is dodging, you cannot footstool him. You can only perform a limited amount of footstools without touching the ground. This amount varies for different characters. Falco, for example, can footstool an opponent 7 times without touching the ground, while Jiggs Jigs can only do it 4 times. The height of a footstool decreases with every jump, so reaching this limit in a normal match will probably never happen. If you hold the jump button, the footstool will be higher than if you just tap it. It's similar to normal jumps on the ground where you also have short hops and full hops. Now let's first talk about the phantom footstool and how it can be used. First of all, it can serve as an additional recovery option. Sometimes you can use that footstool instead of an up special to get faster onto the stage or avoid your opponent's recovery moves. Also, with characters that don't go into freefall after their up special, a footstool can be the last hope of survival if your opponent is also off stage. Remember that you can use footstools even if you don't have a jump left. Another cool thing you can use the footstool for is as additional landing option, even though you won't land immediately. If you find yourself above your opponent without a double jump and he is just waiting to punish your landing, use the footstool as a little mind game. He might expect you to just land and maybe throws out a move, which can give you enough time to land in a different spot or even punish him immediately. Now the regular footstool is a bit more powerful. When performed on the ground, your opponent will only receive a tiny bit of lag. But when performed in the air, it puts him in a tumble state for a short time, not allowing him to use any moves. The only thing he can do during that state is move a bit to the left and right while falling. The first and obvious use of this is to gimp someone off stage. A Yoshi for example is very vulnerable to footstools. Many Yoshi players, when recovering from the ledge, like to let go of the ledge and use their double jump either to make use of their heavy armor or just to attack with an aerial. In that moment, a well-timed footstool can cost a Yoshi his life. So if you see your opponent going for that recovery a lot, a footstool is the optimal counter. Another character vulnerable to footstools is Jigglypuff. Even though it has a lot of jumps, it doesn't really have a special move that helps gaining height, except maybe the side special, Pound. If Jigs is under the stage, try to go for a footstool. If your opponent doesn't expect it, he will most likely just spam jump until he reaches the ledge, which makes footstooling him easy. What the Jigs player can do is use attacks or air dodges while you try to jump off of him, so that you can only get the phantom footstool. It still is a good tool to pressure Jigs off stage. Footstooling other characters off stage is very situational. Like against Yoshi, if you see that your opponent uses his double jump a lot to recover from the ledge, you can try catching him right after that double jump before he starts a move. Some characters have problems recovering from that with only their up special. Another situation would be if your opponent goes off stage trying to gimp you but ends up below you. To recover, many players will just use their double jump without an attack or dodge to gain maximum height. So if you can predict that correctly, you can again try to catch him with a footstool directly after his double jump. If you don't mess up completely, the worst that can happen is that you only get the phantom footstool. 
Until now, we have almost only talked about footstools off stage, but another cool use of them is for combos. First of all, usually if you fall to the ground, you can tag by pressing shield at the right time, but you cannot tag right after getting footstooled. It's similar to getting pushed off an edge backwards and then falling to the ground, which you can also not tag. This allows for some cool combos with certain characters. Here are some examples. You probably know that when you stand on the ground and get spiked into it, you can usually tag. But that doesn't work if you lie on the ground. You can never tag when lying on the ground and then getting spiked into it. Which means that this is an absolutely true combo. There are also some deadly offstage combos that finish with a footstool. Like Fox fast fall forward air to footstool or Corin's down air to footstool. There are plenty of other footstool combos out there, so if you want to find some for your character, go to smashboards.com or be creative and discover some for yourself. I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who is supporting us on Patreon. You guys are helping us out so much, so again, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video, see you soon and stay beefy. Show me a move, show me a move, show me a move, show me a move.